So it's a little bit nippy today, but the sun is out, so it's not too bad. But it gives me the opportunity to come into the greenhouse because it has been a little bit forgotten. And one of the things I want to do is sort these tomatoes out today because basically they're starting to ripen, but the weather is starting to get colder now. So I really want to ripen them as quickly as I can. So I'm just going to take off some of this foliage that is, is here in an attempt to ripen the ones that I've got left. And I'm still getting some tomatoes off them. These are Tigerella and I think Moneymaker. I can't actually remember because there's no label. But yeah, I'm still getting tomatoes off them, which is really, really good. But just want to ripen the other ones. So that's my job today. So I'm literally just going to cut the foliage off of the plant. And so it's just left with tomatoes. I actually sacrifice this top bit as well because let's face it these are not probably going to form into tomatoes now so I'm literally just going to fold them I haven't really, haven't really done any of the maintenance that you should do on tomatoes with the suckers. I haven't been cutting them off. Well, I have, but I haven't kept on top of cutting them off, which is one of the reasons why these are quite bushy. Yeah, it's um, very good to actually get rid of some of this foliage so you can actually see what's growing as well. Oh no, I actually cut. Slug. Slug. So cuts one off, but they've actually been eaten by a slug, so it's actually not that much of a disaster. Needs to be less tall or just watch what I'm doing, one or the other. So those of you who followed me for a while will know that I'm actually probably one of the most accident prone people that you can actually come across. Because oh, I don't know how many other accidents I've had. Um to put it bluntly, they made an accident book here because there were so many accidents that I've had. So, make of that what you will. I'm actually going to take this out of the way because I'm going to end up headbutting myself or something on it. Again. Right. So that's the foliage all cut off the tomatoes and as I say the reason I've done it is to fingers crossed that they start to turn and go a bit more red and I get a bit more a few more harvest off them that's the plan anyway because in the greenhouse at the moment it's 21 degrees which is an optimal temperature for tomatoes so although it's cold outside the greenhouse is keeping the temperature at a right level for tomatoes to hopefully ripen so by cutting the foliage off i hope to turn these ones that are still waiting to go red um into being able to pick that's the plan so you may remember a little mystery about this pepper plant and i wasn't sure if it was just a sweet pepper plant or whether it was actually a chili plant well I have found the label so I do label things from time to time however I also bury the label from time to time but it's great because I now know what this is 
So it's a chili pepper cayenne F1. So I've, hmm, some recipes in the comments would be great, but I think I'm probably going to just put these in the Ninja Foodie, dehydrate them and make some chili pepper to go on, you know, curries and things. So but if you've got another thought that you can do with them, um, let me know because I'm not quite sure what I would use them for, to be honest, other than the salads and things, but they're, I assume they're quite hot. I assume. I haven't actually tasted one. Might taste one. Um, see how hot they are. But yes, if you've got any ideas of what I can make with them, please pop them in the comments. So another plan that I have is for these two raised beds that I've got here. So I grew some spring onions in them this year and they didn't actually grow anything in them once I harvest the, the spring onion because I don't eat a lot of spring onion to be honest and it was planned to grow spring onion in it um, so once I harvest it they were just left. But spring onion you can grow right the way through the year so my my plan is to put some tulips in there so over the spring it's got some tulips growing and then later in the season next year to actually have the spring onion in there so that way I'll have some spring onions but it won't be left for a period of the year that's the plan Point them the um, when you plant tulips, point them the pointy end up. It doesn't matter if you do plant them upside down; they will find their own way. But that's uh, that is the way you point them. So I've planted them about 10 centimetres deep and about 10 centimetres apart. So hopefully that's not too bad. So I'm just going to cover them up. There we go. All covered up and all tidied away and hopefully it'll be a nice little display for spring. Oh, it's so windy today. Really windy. So. God, it's so windy today out here. It's literally blowing a hoolie, as uh, some people would say. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely autumn weather. My hair, excuse the hair. <sighs> so I'm really pleased that um, it's all been done now. Um, I've got those tulips in. That's something I've really wanted to do for the last few weeks, actually, and especially the tomatoes as well. But one thing I do need your help on is this little plot area here. Now, this area here is a little bit of a junk station, if you like. Um, I've literally, well, I had my bench here. So the bench was originally here. That's where I sat. But I've moved the bench to this little area over here because the patio's there. And it just makes sense to have the patio with the bench. But now I've got this area that quite frankly it's just now being used as a dumping ground so i don't want to use it as a dumping ground i want to put it to use and i want it to be productive so this is my thought and help me out see what you think about this but i'm in two minds so one of the things i would like to do i have these two raised beds here and i really like this type of raised bed growing so i've got the smaller raised bed which is this one and then I've got the larger raised beds which are these ones and I'm thinking that it can go over in that area here so if I come back here literally it will go in this area here 
Now the question being, do I get two long raised beds or do I get three or four shorter beds and have them alongside? So four, literally four raised beds here going across or two long beds, possibly even one long bed because I've got the pathway there. Thoughts. My thinking is to have three or four of these beds here so then that way it gives a bit more of a option of what to grow that's my thoughts let me know yours so all in all i'm quite pleased with this growing year but i am not sowing too much over the winter months this year because there's some projects i actually want to get done so one of the things i am going to sow is my broad beans my garlic and my onions just as normal but I'm not sowing the cabbages and the brassicas this year. I'm actually going to just leave the ground, prepare it obviously, so I've got less to do in the spring. But I'm just going to leave the ground so it's ready for spring and not planting in it too much. That's the plan. And the reason for that is I've got a couple of jobs that I want to do over the winter months. So the shed is one of them. I want to kind of empty out, revamp, because it's just, again, a dumping ground. It's a mess. I don't know if you've seen in my shed. I'm not going to show you up. It's a shed of shame. But it's one of the things I want to sort out. So we'll see. We shall see. Um, but yes, that is why I'm not growing too much over the winter months. Because I've got a plan to kind of sort that shed out and make it a shed, really. Somewhere I can sit, probably have a cup of tea. Because all the equipment's in there. I just need to clear it out. <laughs> and it's a job I've been putting off and off and off so we shall see but thanks for coming along this week again and thanks for watching please like and comment in the video again let me know your thoughts what you think but yes i will see you again soon